Mac Voices at CES 2024. Mac Voices is at CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, one of the apps that's on my home screen all the time is My Radar, and that's not a setup, it's absolutely true. We're in the My Radar booth to talk to Mike about what My Radar does and where they're going. Mike, it's great to meet you. Likewise, and he's not he's not kidding. He showed me his home screen. It's right there. Yeah. It would be too too good to. I'm not going to take much time to try to fake you out. <laughs> Absolutely. So, no, it's. I mean, seriously, it is the best radar app that I found for giving me information on local weather. Nice. So the question is, why are you here at CES, and where are you going with my radar? Yeah. So of course, uh, my radar is one of the most trusted and most popular weather apps in the world. Of course, a user here standing right next to me. It's been downloaded over 50 million times worldwide. Um, and of course, all of the features that you know and love in my radar are what makes it where we're at today. But we're at CES to launch our new business offerings, and uh, we just launched a brand new website, myradar.com slash business. So effectively, what we're trying to do is find ways for uh, new businesses to integrate pieces and parts of the My Radar app, whether they're looking for current weather information, forecast weather information, or archived weather information into whatever business they happen to be in. Weather impacts all of us in many different ways. It's, it, I mean, listen, the first thing we all, when we turn on the local news, the first thing is, what's the weather? And you, you don't think about that in the in necessarily in those terms. Sure. But weather is so important and so interesting to all of us. Absolutely. Whether you are going outside to walk your dog, if you're commuting to work, if you are in logistics, if you're in supply chain, weather is going to impact you in some way, shape, or form when you're doing your job or if you have to go outside. And then, of course, there's severe and significant weather events that can impact you, your property, or the lives of your family. Can you tell us a little bit about what kind of, how you're packaging the weather information for whatever the, the, the client might be doing? Sure. I, well, of course, with so many factors or with so many ways that weather can impact people, to be able to take out for example, let's just say you are a logistics company and you want to be able to determine whether your drivers are going to be able to get from point A to point B safely. Perhaps you want to know what the conditions of the roads are going to be like based on whether or not they're at or below freezing, whether or not there's going to be rain or snow in the immediate vicinity, and whether or not there's going to be dangerous crosswinds along the way if you're shipping something via a large semi-truck. Of course, winds above 45 miles per hour coming across the truck can put the driver of the truck at risk and of course all of those goods at risk as well no worries so of course there's so many different ways that weather can be applied to all of those industries and we're here to meet the needs of those people that, that's fascinating so if if i am a logistics company i come to you and describe what i'm looking for and you then figure out a way to deliver it absolutely i mean we're incredibly flexible in the sense where if there is weather impacting you or your business we are here to help you make your life your life and your business easier and more seamless so you can take the thinking out of it and let us help you now obviously with the app the thing i'm most familiar with is what's on the screen beside you sure. you know the larger picture mm -hmm. zoom it down to my region but how local can you get and still have meaningful data? Of course, so we can be incredibly granular, let alone the fact that within at least in North America or anywhere we're able to pull in raw radar data, the United Kingdom, Japan, South Korea, and Australia, we're able to get pretty granular down to street level to be able to help you see what is coming. Of course, one of the most popular features of the app is to let you know whether or not it's going to be raining and at one intensity. Uh, the rain alerts are a huge driver of traffic for us. But beyond that, for people that aren't able to have a traditional means of weather monitoring where they live, uh, we are able to use satellite data to kind of help fill in the gaps for people to be able to see what is occurring and what's coming toward them. We've been successful in launching multiple CubeSat satellites uh, and plan to launch a constellation of satellites just to help with remote sensing to be able to, again, make people more aware of the conditions that impact them in their daily lives. So we've been talking right now about going forward. Mm -hmm. How about looking in the past? We're, we're seeing parametric insurance become a thing. We're seeing plenty of situations where we want to know what the weather was right. and how bad the conditions were or exactly what the conditions were. Is that arc information you archive and then can package up and sell? That's correct. Within the API, we're able to go back 14 years in the past to be able to look back at a uh, 
again, weather data that far in the past and help you form a more complete picture. Again, to bring it back to that logistics, logistics example, perhaps along a particular route, uh, we know that snow happens to collect in this particular part of the road or temperatures happen to be lower in one section, but not in another. So to be able to, again, help uh, whether it's a logistics company or what have you, make a more informed decision based on weather. That's what we're here to help. It's fascinating. It's a great expansion to what you've already done mm -hmm. so far. So I'd yeah. be anxious to see where you take it next. Yeah, I mean, we've just launched as well uh, into CarPlay and Android Auto. That's been something that we have answered so many uh, messages about for people that are asking when they can get my radar in the car. And we're so happy to announce that that, that day is here, at least with CarPlay, to be able to display weather information in your car. Uh, we're one of the first to be able to do that. And of course, to be able to plot a route to show you what the weather's going to look like along your route and help you with turn-by-turn -turn navigation to help you again get from point A to point B safely based on current weather. So I did not know about that. There being, you go. Being an Apple-oriented podcast, that's fascinating. I'm going home and put my radar right in my car plan. Yeah, it's a, uh, of course, uh, road weather has been in the app, but now with RouteCast, uh, that being the feature that gives you the CarPlay capability, it's a premium feature within the app. So if you are uh, a premium subscriber, you as soon as you plug your phone in or it connects to your CarPlay, you'll see our logo right there on your dashboard. Tap, and it looks exactly like the, the MyRadar app that you know and love, but now with being able to uh, plot all of the information along the way. That's very cool. So you're just going in a lot of different directions with naturally expanding the whole use of weather data. Listen, again, weather impacts us all. And to be able to make that information more accessible to people and for people to be able to see it in a way that's meaningful to them is what we're here to do. And then, of course, myself uh, being on the meteorology team, to be able to alert to people when there is severe or significant weather and be a supplement to the already incredibly popular and feature-rich app, I mean, it really is a complete experience that really helps people make more educated decisions based on the weather that is impacting them or is going to impact them. The website where we send folks to learn more about everything you're doing. Sure. It's myradar.com slash business, and you'll see everything there related to all of our brand new offerings and all the exciting stuff coming down the pipeline. Mike, thank you so much for Absolutely. the time. It's a, it pleasure, a pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. Folks, we'll have more from CES in Las Vegas. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for show notes and to connect with Chuck on social media. Get involved in our Facebook group or like our Facebook page and get more out of your Apple tech with Mac Voices Magazine, free on Flipboard and on the web. And if you find value in it all, consider supporting us through either our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash macvoices or by making a one-time donation via the PayPal link on our front page and in the show notes of each episode. You will join these fine people who help bring you Mac Voices. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.